Good afternoon, internet friends. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's tip has a little bit to do with Chief Architect, specifically 360 degree panoramic views, but more about a new service that I want to share with you that uh, has really helped me and is much quicker and easier than past services I've used. It's called Kula. Let's get started. Thanks so much for watching these videos regularly. I enjoy the interaction and I enjoy sharing the uh, little bits of, of wealth that I find when using Chief Architect and the uh, technical tips that uh, I can share and hopefully make all of our jobs easier. So today's tip is about virtual tours in uh, a service called Kula. You can find it KU ula dot co and i do need to let you know today's tip is sponsored by kula if you want to uh, use this service you can uh, email me or use the link in the description below to get a discount of 10 percent off we'll get into that more later first of all set up setting up your model in chief architect is important so that we can export that uh, panoramic view properly. And then we'll get into Kula. So I'm going to take a camera view and notice where we have the start point and end points of our uh, camera. So it's important to notice when taking a picture, a uh, rendering in Chief Architect, when, when exporting a panoramic view, there are two important points about this uh, camera view. I'm going to zoom in on this so that you can see the camera. And let's highlight the points. This is the first click of the camera tool. And then I'm going to drag and I let go of the camera here. Okay. When exporting a panoramic version, the it will rotate this about uh, this circle about the point at which you started or which the camera is standing or if you are standing in the room it will rotate it I don't know if it's clockwise or counterclockwise but you get the idea about this when starting in the camera tool it's chief architect starts out with this mouse orbit camera Using the mouse orbit camera, remember that uh, position right here where the end of the uh, the end of the camera uh, length was essentially in front of the sink. If I use the mouse orbit camera, you're noticing I'm actually rotating the view about that point in front of the sink, but that's not the view that the panoramic tool exports from. It exports where I'm standing over here and rotates uh, this direction or this direction. So what I always do is I go into the mouse tilt camera tool. The mouse tilt camera tool ro rotates about this axis so that my view rotates here or here. And that's what the panoramic tool, the mouse orbit camera, rotates about this point and goes in this direction. I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm talking around myself. Anyway, take the camera tool, go into the mouse tilt camera view. That way, you're getting the view of what the panoramic view is going to look like. I always do this so that I make sure I'm not back clipping anything. I get everything looking good above and below me, and it all looks good in the 3D model. It's easy to take a camera view from this direction and make this look fantastic and forget about cleaning something up back here. Don't forget, in that panoramic view, you're going to see all of it. So that's my first tip, is check and make sure the model is done. 
Now we're going to export the camera. I've set up my custom toolbar to export camera. You can go to File, Export, Export 360 Panorama. Now you can save it to the Chief Architect Cloud. I don't like to do that because Chief Architect Cloud doesn't have the options that um, Kula does. So I'm going to save this to my folder, my hard drive, under the um, project name. I have a system that all my pictures go here, renderings, and then 360 VR, sample pano panorama. And click OK. It will create the 360 panorama and export that. Then I go into each area. So I might export one from here, one from here, so I can see the the island and the cabinets here. Uh, I might go into the garage. I'll go into the breakfast room, the bathroom, the living room. I'll go upstairs and export all of those, as well as I'm going to go to my presentation set, layer set, and I'm going to export a plan view of each floor plan as well. First floor, second floor, take my panoramas, etc. Now let's get into Kula. This is Kula.co, Kula.co. For you to get your 10% discount, register as a free account, and then follow the link that's in the description below. That link will uh, send your name and e email address to me. I will send you the link. Kula has asked me to not put this out as a public discount, but you can just um, email me and I will send you the link for that discount. All right, when signed in, I use the hamburger menu here on the left and create tour. Give it a tour name. Remodeling project. I'm going to go over to my folder here and I'm I've, here's the sample panorama that we just created. I'm going to select all of these. Uh, and I'm going to do, I'm going to move these into that folder as well so that I can select all of the files. I've got panoramas and I've got floor plans here. I'm going to take all of those and drop them, drag them into the browser screen here. As this updates, you can give this a title. I like to give the file names some sort of information so that um, I know what they're, what room they're in, and then I can just uh, give the title appropriately. In this case, I've already done an up, updated version of the pantry, so I'm just going to delete this picture. This is the original. I'm going to delete that from this list, upload list. Once I've given all the names appropriately, I'm going to scroll up and click on Post. You can change the filtering of each picture or panorama view. I don't change anything on the right. Um, you can add image, an inline image to the process. I, I don't use any of this. You could put text on here. Select this all and make that black. Give it a drop shadow. Save it. 
I'm going to go back to the photo and I'm going to drop hotspots. I'm going to click on a hotspot right here. This image isn't necessarily what I want, so I'm going to change the image to built-in assets and use the target. I can adjust the target size. I'm going to start dropping targets everywhere on this floor plan that I have taken a camera view. Go back to photo, click on hotspot. It has saved the image and the size that we just used. Go back to photo, hotspot. I'm going to move this hotspot here, hot here, hot up here. Now, in this hotspot, once I've selected this hotspot, you see the little blue outline there. I can uh, label it. I wish. I'm going to give it an action. I'm going to go to another post. I'm going to select the living room. Play with your animations, bounce, pulse, wave, however you like to do that. I'm going to delete the text from the label. Click on this one in the entry action. Go to another post. Entry. So just like we did this on the floor plan, we're going to save this first. I'm going to go to the entry. This blue dot tells you where this panorama is going to be oriented when you first open it up. If you want it to orient this way, just drag, click on and drag this blue dot over here. So that when I save this, I'm going to go back to my floor plan here and click on this target. Let's save. Ah, let's close this first. I was in edit mode. Now I want to close this. I'm going to actually use this floor plan to jump to different views. If I click on this target, it's going to jump to the um, dining room panoramic view. Remember I set that blue dot over here? That's what it's looking at now. Let's go back and close this. Sample tour, I got out too far actually. So let's edit this tour. Now I'm in edit mode. Clicking on the blue dot will, or clicking on the target will not take me to the post. I can adjust that hotspot. So entry. Back into entry, there's my blue dot. That Remember, that's the original opening scene, if you will. In this case, I want it to open it over here. But I need to start dropping some more hot spots in here. I don't want this target, or maybe I do want the target. Let's make that target a little bigger. And let's make this target go on the floor. So it looks like I've actually got a target here. On the to to jump to on the floor. I'm going to add another hot spot. Remember, it kept the size and it kept the position on the floor over here for this for the living room. And then I'm going to add another hot spot. So I go to photo hot spot. And in this case, I want this one on the wall. but I want to change this image to an arrow and I'm going to rotate it so that it looks like I'm saying, hey, you can go upstairs. Here we go. This hot spot, I'm going to change to the owner's bedroom. This one I'm going to change to kitchen one and kitchen two. I'm sorry, that's not kitchen two. Change post to the living room. Okay, go through all of these. Oh yes, I'm gonna save and quit so that I can go to the dining room. This one's one I want, I don't wanna be facing outdoors, so I'm gonna swing this around. 
this direction. And save that photo. Remember, add all the hotspots that you want that you've saved. And I'll take you over to this tour that I've already done. So here's the tour that I've already created. Uh, I'm going to edit this and show you a couple more items here. Edit tour down. When in the edit mode, I'm going to edit the tour. Now I see all the all the pictures, all the files that we've uploaded to this tour, and a couple of them are unique. So I've clicked on this first floor plan, and I've selected to hide it from the thumbnail bar, and I've selected this to be added to the menu. The same with my second floor plan. Hide it from the thumbnail bar and add it to the menu. I don't have to do both. I could unhide them from the menu bar and save this. Let's exit. And now you see these down here in the plan view. That's what's hiding it. That's what hiding it does, is it keeps it from down here. Or adding it to the menu is this icon right here. So here's the plan view. I can go to first floor plan or second floor plan, whether that's shown or not down here. So let's go back to edit tour. And I'm going to hide them, and save, and exit. You don't see the floor plans down here. You see the options here to go to second floor plan, first floor plan. I can click on any of these spots and jump straight to the pantry. Or I can click on these hot spots to jump to the space that I want over here. So there's back to in the pantry, back out in the kitchen, behind the island, over into the living room. I could go upstairs or into the entry, I could go upstairs, check out the sitting room, back into the bedroom, Owner's bath, bedroom, and downstairs again. Check it out, kula.co. Once again, follow the link down in the description below to get your 10% discount. Fill in your name and email address, and I'll email you that uh, discount link right away. First of all, remember, sign up for your free kula.co account, and then use that link that I emailed to you. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoy this presentation option of Kula. And uh, thanks to Kula for giving us discounts on this. Check them out. Take care.